On today's episode, I come to you especially from location in a hotel room, but I brought my whole setup. But I'm going to share with you the one thing that will make your email, your social media, your content, and every single thing that you create and post easy. And I'm going to get you there in under five minutes. So I'm going to shut up now so we can get to it. But now it's time to cue the intro for the Monday Minute, and I will see you guys in the episode. Welcome back to another Monday episode. This one is coming from you to you from location. If you're watching this video, I'm in a hotel in downtown LA uh, working with a private client today. And so if you hear trucks and sounds in the background, it is the, the city itself. But today on this Monday, this Monday minute, we're going to talk about how to always win with your customers. We're talking about how to make sure that everything that you do with your customers from communicating them, emailing them, uh, reaching out to them, talking to them on social media is easy. And you want to know what the secret is? The secret to making all of your marketing easy, all of your emails easy, all of your posts easy, is you need to talk to your customers like they're your best friends. And I can't stress this enough. I say this to people all the time. When you email your list, email your list like they're your best friend. Like to actually care. Don't be weird. Talk to them like you're talking to a friend. Can you imagine if your best friend was like, hey, George... I know you're feeling like this, and I just created this thing with this one, two, and three thing that I think you might be interested to achieve this one, two, three thing. And so whenever you realize I'm a robot, please click this thing. It doesn't work, and it never will work, but you have to remember you are talking to your best friend. Let's say you're a food blogger and you go to a restaurant. You have an amazing meal. You're going to text your friend, hey, girl, hey, man, you got to check this place out. The chicken parm was off the chain. Here's the name of the restaurant. Check it out. It was so good. Well, that's a social media post. That's a social media post. Let's say you're selling a program. Ask yourself, would my best friend benefit from this program and what would the text be that I sent them? Hey, man, listen, I love what you do and I believe in everything that you do. And the truth is, is I found a couple pockets that you can use to help amplify that. So jump on this so we can go blank. You have to treat it like you're texting or emailing your best friends. Treat your customers like, that you're, like they're your best friends. Think about them succeeding. Think about what it would take for them to achieve the desired state that you're asking them to. Follow up with them in natural ways that make sense. Like, hey, just checking in. I sent you that video. Did you get a chance to watch it? Do you have any questions? That's natural. A natural follow-up is like, hey, I saw that you put it into practice. Does that make sense to you? Natural, natural, natural. That is how people are sold authentically. That is how people are taken on a journey to get to the promised land. If you ask yourself, like, what would I say to my best friend? What would I say to my spouse? What would I say to my significant other? You tell them. And here's the news flash: If your best friend or your spouse or your dear friend or your acquaintance is in your life and you very clearly see that they need help with something, we don't idly sit by and let it happen. If we see that they need to wake up at the wheel so they don't crash, we don't let them fall asleep and crash. We stop them. We have an obligation to serve and support the people that are paying attention to us. And so when you treat it like your best friend, you also give yourself the permission slip to hold a hard line that holds them accountable and helps them take action. Don't beat around the bush. Don't feel bad about it. Be open. Be authentic. The reason people feel scammed or taken advantage of or disconnected is because they can feel the undertone. They can feel how inauthentic it is. They can feel how transactional it is. But when you communicate clearly and with love to your customers, they know that you care. And they don't get bad. They don't get upset. They're like, oh, I can't believe he sold me. No, they're like, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for talking to me like I'm a human. Thank you for understanding that I'm not a number or a robot or an open rate or a click rate. Thank you for teaching me that you actually care. You help me feel seen, heard, and respected. So now I feel safe. And I'm going to come into your world because you treated me like your best friend. And I'm not saying create codependency. I'm saying simplify this process. Go read through your posts. Go read through your emails. Like, is this what I would send my best friend? Is this what I would send somebody that wanted to feel safe? If you read it out loud, it's like, does this make me feel safe? Would I respond to this email? So the inverse of this is you can also write emails or posts or content that you would read and respond to from your best friend. 
if you can't think about it on their side. But I'm going to tell you right now, as you go through your day today, tomorrow, next week, next year, if you always come back to, am I writing this to my best friend? Is it clear? Is it communicative? Is it filled with love? Does it make sense? Is it simple? Is it eliminated with fluff? And if you can answer all those questions, I guarantee you it will be effective. And so as you go throughout the rest of today, think about it. You're like, oh, I can't write an email. What would I say to my best friend? I don't know how to respond to the comment. What would I tell my best friend? And it's okay to be you. I do this to my friends on social media all the time and and strangers. They're like, oh yeah, this is nice. I'm like, yeah, but when are you going to do it? Because you keep showing up like this and I don't see anything happening. They're like, oh, thank you so much. Be in a relationship with people. It's the number one secret. So that's what I'm going to wrap today. Treat all your customers like they're your best friends and it will guarantee a fast track to success connection and make your life easier. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And now it's time to cue the outro.